I'm back. I'm in a different location today. Um, I'm on a, a creek that I actually grew up grew up on uh, fishing. Uh, did a lot of catfishing, uh, things like that, on this creek. Uh, mainly just with red worms and line and sinker. But uh, come along with me today, and we'll be going after some brim and bass. Hope y'all enjoy it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna just go over my tackle, my rod and reel, what I'll be using today, and uh, just kind of give you an idea. But I'm using my, uh, it's a Fierce 3, uh, 3,000 size reel. I normally use on the Gulf Coast. Uh, this is a seven foot medium light uh, rod. It's, it's just a combo to come with the reel. And I'm using the Rebel Grasshopper uh, on the end. I'm also using the same setup that I used on my last video. It's my battle. Pin Battle 4000, one I use on the Gulf Coast also. I love this setup. I've got my Slam Shady on here from Salt Strong. You guys check them out if you do any Gulf Coast fishing or saltwater fishing. They got all the tackle you need. And heck, a lot of it's good for bass as you can, as you've seen in my other videos. They, they love this little paddle tail. But, uh, Again, it's my seven, seven uh, foot medium fast rod. Come with the reel. I just, I love it. Love this setup. Guys, I'll be casting along where that water's pouring off the rocks. All up in this deep water right here. And hopefully catch a few brim. Hopefully nice size brim. Let's see what we can come up with. Snatch some lips. I'm going to try my slam shady up against these rocks and see what I can come up with. Slam Shady one. Rebel Cricket, nothing. Small one. I'm back in the kindergarten class again, but hey, first fish of the day, I'll take it. Turn him loose.
pretty much have to watch your step out here. There's a lot of loose rocks and some of them are slippery. So I'm walking gingerly, very carefully. Got to be real careful not to slip on these rocks. But um, all I'm doing is just walking around and just hitting all these little, little deep pockets. I look right along these rocks and stuff. See what I can come up with. But in the meantime, I'm taking it easy, taking it slow. Can't afford to fall and break a bone or something. Let's try the slam shady again. It's time to catch something bigger than grade school fish. Today's today. Yeah, I wasn't planning on getting wet today, but I done filled my boots up. I'm gonna walk over here and see if I can find a hole with some, on the main creek. See if there's any bass or ram or something out there. Yeah, the sun's starting to go down and it's getting later and later. Hopefully we can hook up on one more before we end the day's fishing trip. Headed over to my last spot of the afternoon. It's kind of deep water in here. It's, it's a little more calmer than where I was at. 
But as a kid, my grandfather and I would put our, put the boat in here. The water's calm. Hopefully we can hook up on something. There's a fish. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, buddy. Fish number two of the day. We're gonna try along this bank over here. See if there's any bass hanging out in there. Well, folks, all I could muster up was two small fish back in the nursery again today. So, day two of fishing, done and in the books. But I got to thank the Lord for allowing me to be able to do this stuff. I got to put the Lord first in everything. No matter if I have a bad day or a good day or what have you, I give him all the credit. But uh, you guys stay with me and follow me on my journey. And hopefully we'll break this slump I've been in and start catching some monsters. Hopefully we'll have some fishing trips down to the Gulf Coast in a few weeks and hopefully I can bring you that content. But I'll do my best. I'll try to keep them coming. But uh, y'all like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one.